Welcome back to McMullen Park as the run-in draws ever closer. Just three games left on Rail Bedford soil this season. The first of that trifecta taking place today in perfect conditions. It's first place Rail Bedford taking on 12th place Burton Park Wanderers. The home side who make two changes from the team that strolled past Homer Green seven days ago. It's another week and another new signing. This time some further defensive solidity as Lewis Burgess heads over to McMullen Park and slots straight into a starting role. For the away side, it's been a tricky few weeks and they're yet to record a point since Valentine's Day, so it's a tall order for the boys from Burton Park this afternoon. The one continuum across the side is Connor Bird. He starts his 23rd game in a row for the away side and he also skippers the team. Now Luke Knight with a little bit of open pasture in front of him and he's going to look for that ball over towards Clifford and Jordan Brown will get there first. Brown now entering into the box, uses Clifford who gets the ball underneath his feet, but it's still there for Brown with the back heel. Fitzjohn, no. Well collected in the end by Charlie Talbot in between the sticks, but a little hard in the mouth moment for Burton as Jordan Brown got his first shot on goal, albeit fairly orthodox, unorthodox. It's Tyler McGregor. Bell all the way over towards McKiveney and ball swung in here and a bit of defensive acumen from Rail Bedford but that was a chance that they could have let slip and it's cleared away by uh, Connor Burr the captain uh, just back to Wood All over towards Tom Hitchcock, flicked on for Jordan Brown, who gets it underneath his spell. Brown into the middle, it's blocked. Another chance here for Clifford, straight at the keeper. All the way over. 16 minutes gone, still nil-nil. Some key chances for Jordan Brown in particular over the opening 15 minutes. The wind certainly playing a factor. It's a playing against Real Bedford at the moment, which means this ball is just holding up in the breeze as it does for Jordan Brown there, who takes it round the keeper and will he be able to slot it home? No, he won't. Superb defending on the line. Oh, it's uh, Bradley Marshall, in fact, who somehow denies Jordan Brown from that sort of position. Night and it is Woods and it's palmed away. Burgess for debut goal. Once again blocked that time by Connell Lyons. Somehow Burton Park Wanderers still live and they've gone round the other end and it could go in. No, just over. Josh Strain could not find the target there. <laughs> chance, 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 and still no goal. So what does that really say about Rail Bedford, do you think, at the moment? I think it says more about Burton, uh, Burton Park being lucky fuckers. If you, oh, I did it again, I swore. I think uh, they've been very fortunate. I mean, Brownie should have had one. I think Lewis Burgess should have scored one then. We might get one here. Go on, Brownie. Oh, see, this is what happens. We get chances when I come up here. Go on. There we go. See, that's right. Every time I come up, we score. It's the magic touch of Pete McCormack, which brings the goods. Tom Hitchcock and Jordan Brown linking up, and it is Hitchcock who gets the goal. It's been a while since I've been able to say that. His 15th goal of the season comes at a good time for Rail Bedford. It just, just seemed to be when Pete McCormack walks into the gantry that stuff happens for Rail Bedford. Coincidence? Well, we'll find out from Tom Hitchcock to open his account for this game. Burgess with a little bit of purchase on it. Headed towards Tom Woods. And it's Tom Wood once again who's in a bit of a purple patch when it comes to finding the back of the net. Two goals last week, a goal today. Doubles the advantage of Real Bedford this afternoon off a Lewis Burgess throw. The ball in telegraph towards the defender 
who had little left to do but nod it home. Tomwood, his third goal this week. And already Burton uh, back up the other end and it's Burn and it's found the back of the net. Josh Drain straight off kickoff. McGregor was tested. And he's already conceded. That'll be frustrating for him. There's Brown into the middle. Brown still going. The ball's there for Eddie Corbett. Snuck it in on the angle. Jordan Brown's been desperate for a goal, but he'll take an assist, that's for sure. Eddie Corbett gets himself back on the score sheet once more. Excellent work from Jordan Brown. Ball fortuitously placed in front of Eddie Corbett's path. Yeah, I think that is the change that's been made. It's gone to a fullback. Cully in towards Brown. It could be looking for his goal. Hits against the side netting. Jordan Brown. Luton Knight again towards the back post and it's gone in. Archie Cully will claim the plaudits, but it found the back of the net via Bradley Marshall, I think it was, all the way home. Not something you want to see again. Wouldn't put it past him. Definitely going long. Let's end up in different postcode. Hitchcock lays it off cutely towards Eddie Corbett. Ooh, laid in and Brown will get there here. Jordan Brown will get his goal. Jordan Brown getting the score. It's a really well taken finish for Jordan Brown. Eddie Corbett's going to power through. Brown could play through Corbett here. Maybe one last chance. Eddie Corbett into the middle. Up for Hitchcock against the post. Owusu blocked by Burton defenders. Somehow that ball doesn't find the back of the net. Eddie Corbett plays it across to Hitchcock who uses his left instead of wrapping it with his right. Struck against the woodwork. Heading into the seventh minute of additional time. And there it is. Whistle blows. Raoul Bedford cruise to another victory here. Five goals to Burton Park Wanderers won. The damage done in the second half, especially by that man, Jordan Brown. Man of the match from him, two assists and a goal to add to it as well. His tally grows to 26 goals in the league so far this campaign. A few more to come, I hope.